Hey guys, welcome to my new video and today we're going to do another chair but uh, this time we're going to do it out of splines so this will be a, some kind of a spline modeling so we're going to start in the left viewport by toggling uh, snaps toggle make sure it's set on grid points so we'll make something that looks like this so now I want to be enabled in viewport and I want it to be rectangular so it's something like this back into the left viewport we select the vertex mode and we convert these vertices to bezier so now we have something like this so Let's try this. Oop. Yeah, something like that. Let's see if this guy is also cornered. I'm going to snap off toggle. Convert this to Bezier. Let's see, this is, this is, this is, this is, and this is not. So that's good. We need to do something like this. The beauty of Bezier is that you can manipulate however you want it. So make it something like this and this somewhere here. Let's try something like this. Yeah, that's good. Let's see now how it looks. So I, I think it's good. Well, it's good enough for me so now we're going to go into perspective mode and we're going to rescale it something like that use the left viewport to set it down on the ground and right in the middle let's see that I think is good now so now I'm going to make a copy out of it and I'm going to set it on minus 30 the first one and the second one on 30 centimeters so they are too far away because they are small now let's go minus 25 with 25 still too far away let's do minus 20 sorry minus 20 with 20 let's see how it looks it's still too far away so I am going to rescale down a bit something like that yeah something like that I'm going to set them up a bit that's good so now let's see now it looks a bit better it's going to be minus 22 sorry minus 22 with 22 distance the length is going to be 8 centimeters on both of them thickness I think it's good so now what we have to do is connect them somehow at the back so we're going to start and do that by attaching one to another attach both creations and we're going to create a line but we're going to use snaps toggle on this one and we're going to select this vertex so now go to the line, select vertex mode and start the drag to about here so we're done but we look something like this now so we need to do something to make it fine we're going to select these two vertices because there are two vertices right now and we're going to weld them and that fixes the problem you see 
also on the other side weld and it's that's perfect so now we actually have the foundation of the of our chair so we need to make another line in the left viewport we're going to make the seat now so just snap stall off and let's see from something around here something like this and okay let's see it now something like that but oops toggle that off go into now let's see we're going to make the wood uh, it's going to be about two centimeters the thickness is good enough I think now the dimensions don't really matter at all you just do them as you like you can do it I don't know I did the dimensions for this they are two centimeters but this is bigger because I rescaled them and so that's it now we're going to move this out this selection somewhere to about 40 centimeters and let's see if it overlaps or something that I don't want it to overlap at all so that's like 39 maybe no 39.5 maybe maybe 0.7 and I think it is good now let's see now it wants a little bit more 0 0.8 0 0.85 maybe yeah. and that's good if it all it does not matter if it overlaps a bit just not too much so now we have our actual seat but the seat is angled so we need to do something about this angles on the seat and also like the first uh, spline with it we're going to use the vertex mode to set this vertices on Bezier and manipulate them so let's see this something like this maybe something like that maybe just go in a little bit I don't quite like it Let, let's see what we can do about this so this is going to go up and out a bit this out also this guy is going to go here this up a bit and in this is going to be up in so it looks a bit more comfortable for sitting on it actually so that's it let's see this maybe something like that these three are going to go a bit back this maybe maybe the whole selection let's see how it goes something like that and now I think we're done we're going to move it out a bit something like that oops something like that let's go and get this and get L. 
let's see so now this is too straight but I'm going to leave it like that I'm not going to fiddle with it okay now we need something that is going to hold its play hold it hold it in place and I actually have a chair like this I don't know if I had mentioned in this video but uh, it actually has uh, let me add maybe something like this let's set it up a bit and uh, it has some kind of flat not flat head I don't know what they are but they are like screws that you push on and you hammer them with a plastic hammer not with the one the, the metal one so we're going to make them out of uh, uh, out of a sphere and I'll show you in a minute how so make a sphere make the radius 0 0.5 maybe uh, move it up move it inwards uh, somewhere here now I'm going to need the front view part let's see something like this somewhere around here let's see if we can do something about these guys to make them somewhere maybe around three maybe thickness a bit thicker than it was yeah that, that's better so now we can actually rescale this guy set it where, where it needs to be somewhere around here um, right into the center something like that and we're going to add a modifier that uh, we can fiddle with it the FFD 4x4x4 and we're going to select control points and these the outer control points and we're going to bring them down somewhere but where the second ones are somewhere there what that makes actually is uh, this you know it, it makes it look like the one screw that actually goes in the actual chair so I'm going to need four of this I'm going to make two for now and uh, I'm going to rotate this guy because it is for the other side oh, sorry angle snap 180 degrees and now we move it to the other side somewhere like that let's see and that's perfect I like it to be perfect now we need one copy we take this copy move it oops we move it right here let's see somewhere like that then we'll take this one no we're gonna make another copy and we're going to get it up here somewhere and back and we're going to align it with this viewport 
we're going to align it with the other square we have so that's good and let's see our last our final product actually so this is the chair I was talking about now I'm not going to add any materials to it because it was a good practice to do actually this was one of my first projects I've ever done so let's create a group and call it chair 001 okay and uh, here we have the chair actually let's render it let's see how it goes now you don't see the splines and that's because we need to convert this guy to editable poly so everything in it let's open the group this is editable poly this is editable poly and these guys are so now you can actually see the chair because before it was a spline and only viewable in the viewport and not set to be viewable in the uh, in the render so okay now let's see oops and this is our final product so I hope you like the project actually I won't use any turbo smoothing anything to do it to look better just I'm going to just leave it like this and I'll uh, I'll let you to your imagination to do whatever you like so I hope you like the video I hope you will hit like I hope you will subscribe to me because that will give me motivation to do another uh, and another one another video and I will keep the good work so be an enthusiast be 3d enthusiast and I hope I'll see you next time take care bye bye